Hey everyone, you are watching the Indian Dev. I am Ayush and I am back again with another exciting React JS based project. And in this particular video, we will be looking at this amazing application, its functionalities, how we will be building this application, what all the libraries we will be using while developing this application, and what's the API that we will be using for this application. Like like initially i can explain you guys like how this application gonna work as you can see on the screen this is the like react movie app and in this application this is the header and if i search for any movie like if i search for avengers avengers then you will see that a list of movies related to this keyword will be like shown on the screen and you can see like uh, all the movie and movie name its year of like release and the type like it can be movie it can be series it can be the serial so yes like it's all about the search functionality of this application and other than this search functionality what we will be doing like if i just wanted to know more about this particular movie i'll just click on this particular movie and you will see that the details of this particular movie is like shown on the top of your application like we can always switch on switch between the movies and i can close this as well and like again like if i just wanted to search about any mo bollywood movie like if i search just wanted to search about dil then you will see that all the movies related to like dil will be visible here and we can always see the detailing of that so that's like i think that's an amazing application at the beginner level because in this like we are building this crisp ui and uh, we will be having the api integration and the state management for all the things so yes let's build this application but like before jumping onto the development i just wanted to make sure that if you guys are new to my channel the indian dev then you guys can subscribe to my channel the indian dev because like here i am like constantly pushing the videos for react.js and the web development stuff you can follow the react series you can follow the javascript series and like recently i have uploaded a lot of react.js based project which will be helpful if you are a beginner or if you are an intermediate react.js developer just to like uh, build up your react skills and uh, other than this like if you guys are on instagram you guys can follow me over there as well where i am constantly sharing the tech related content and basically you can see about react.js like uh, the guides are there so that you can cover all the topics all the basics on that now like uh, yeah you can follow me over instagram so guys this is the listing of all the things that we will be covering in this particular video that consists of like all the api setup ui implementation the bouncing concept and the api integration and a lot more of the things that has been covered in this video and for this video the target is only for 50 likes so like if you guys are like building something with this app with this video or you have learned any of the concept from this video then please make sure to hit the like button because that's the only thing that can like motivate me to build more projects on this channel now the thing is about this react application what i'll be doing is i'll be just creating a simple react js based application so for that i'll be just opening up my terminal and here i'll be writing the command as npx create react app and the react movie app this command will create a simple or we can say the basic structure for our react application so that we can like start building our things instantly like we need not to set up all the things again and again this will create the basic setup of our application so i'll be just uh, like running this command and once it's done like once it has created the basic structure i'll be opening that in the vs code so let's see so yes like uh, now we can see that that react movie application uh, like that command has created this basic structure and i just ran this npm start command that has started the application on my local server you can see that our application has been started on localhost 3000 and this is the basic ui that the create react app command has provided so what we can do is we can install the related uh, like libraries that we will be using in the application so like during the development anytime if you are stuck on like uh, what information you need like the apis the icons the images or like anything related to the application you can directly go to this repository that is my repository for react movie app 
here you can find the demo of the application you can find the youtube tutorial for this particular uh, like project and the api is used and uh, like everything related to the api everything related to icons and fonts and the libraries that we will be using in this project are listed over here so you can always opt for that now for this like uh, we for the styling our application we will be using the style components and for like this part uh, like for api integration we will be using the very famous exios library and react script is like again the uh, script that is helpful to run all the things for react so as of now what i am doing is i am just removing these like testing libraries and the libraries that we don't need in our development and uh, like if you can see in this project structure then few files that we need not to worry about i can remove that like like test files i can remove and if i just go to index.js file so this is the file which is responsible for adding our react application to the dom or we can say the document and uh, from this file as well i can remove the unnecessary thing uh, like for the beginning part and uh, like all the all the ui that is like uh, represented here is standing in this app component so i can go to app.js like just to make sure that we are at the correct place i can simply remove this and write something just to test just to test the ui now you are you can see that the ui is working fine this is the place where we need to like uh, work upon so i'm just removing the simple css because we will be using the style components in this project so yes that's it for this app.js file i can remove this app.css and the logo.svg as well now we are good to go like the ui structure or we can say the folder structure is very clean now what i need to do is i'll be simply installing the dependencies that we need or like that we have seen here in this part like i'll be installing the style components i'll be installing the exios library so for that i'll be writing npm i style components and exios and i find fun save just to save that in our package.json file so once it's installed we can start our development but like before that like once while they are installing what we can do is we can do the setup for the apis because definitely we will be like uh, using the apis for fetching the movie results so for that like uh, the link for that api is always available on this repository and also available on the description box so you can find that uh, from there and for the apis we will be using the open movie database that is omdb and this is the official website for the omdb and from here you can see like all the detailing of that api is available here and you can also look for the uses like how we can uh, like use this api we can do the like uh, uh, search or we can say the fetch thing from the api by providing the title or id or the other thing is we can search for a movie with the keyword so like we will be using both like searching the searching the movie for for this part like for this part and uh, once i click on this we'll be using the movie specific or the movie detailing api so for that like uh, before jumping onto the actual like api thing what we need is this api key so you just need to click on this api key and you will see a form to generate the api key and right now as we are doing this for the development purpose or for learning purpose i can opt for free plan and uh, just for that you just need to provide your email your name and uh, last name and in the usage you can write that i am using this for the learning purpose by doing that you will be receiving the api keys in the in your email itself like the email that you have mentioned over here and you will receive the api key and uh, like the links for activating your api key once you click on this api uh, like link you will see the text that your api key has been verified and once it's verified you will see this that and uh, the key has already been activated and uh, like in the email itself uh, the example for accessing the api is also available there like uh, this is the example uh, where uh, like it is uh, providing some sort of movie id and that is for guardians of the galaxy volume 2 and for that part you can see the detailing of that 
and if i just go to the search part like how the search api will work then you can simply see that for the search api you just need to provide the parameter s and uh, like if i just wanted to search for like avengers then you can see the listing of the avengers re keyword related movies are here and you can like always change this like if i just wanted to see for kabhi then you will see the movie result for the keyword kabhi and that's it like you will be receiving the 10 search results in one request and uh, like for uh, like uh, this omdb api is paginated so if you just wanted to implement the pagination you can also like uh, use this page uh, like query parameter but as of now we will be going with like the initial 10 results that we are receiving from the api and uh, like for the these urls you can also like look at that like for movie search you just need to use this url or this like queries and for movie details you need to search for these queries so that's it like let's see if our library is installed so it's being installed i'll be back once the installation is done and we can jump on to the designing part of this application so now we can see that our dependencies has been installed in our application and if i just can go to this package.json file then you will see that axios and the style components has been installed in our application now like we can start the development and for developing this like uh, what i can do is i can simply import the style from style components style components is nothing new just uh, like uh, CSS in JavaScript kind of library and uh, like with, with this like we will be styling our components like if I just wanted to style this like div with something like if I just name this as const container equals to styled dot div as I am gonna use div for this so I can style this with uh, like uh, maybe the properties as display flex and something so now like uh, this particular container will be having the display flex and the flex direction column property so i can always like replace this and you can have a look like it is looking the same as right as of now but uh, like what i what i will be doing is uh, like before designing this part we can analyze like what else or what things we need to design so here you can see that this is the header component which, which will be having the application name and the search bar and other than that we are having a container in which the movie component or we can say the movie list component will be like iterating we can say this is like the common component which we will be reusing for each movie so and uh, like other thing is movie info component so like firstly i will be developing this header component so let's start with that and for the styling like if you are stuck for the styling anywhere the source code is again available on this react movie app repository you can simply go to source folder and inside the app.js you can find all the code related to this like how you gonna design this part like the container the header the movie list and the movie info component so like this way you can always like opt for the styling so now i'll be like uh, styling the header header part so for header I can write here as const header and this header will be again a div so i'll be writing style dot div two backticks and here i can define the styling for this like again i'll be going with uh, some property like display flex and the flex direction will be flex direction will be row for this because like as you can see that this is uh, like aligned and the uh, column manner so the flex direction will be row and some more properties we can around we can provide like the background color can be black and other than this the text color is white text color is white and uh, we can provide some sort of padding it can be the 10 pixels and for the header part what i can do is i can like initiate it in the ui header and inside the header if i can write uh, react movie app so yes the header is visible now like we can provide some sort of like other properties like uh, the box shadow 
the font size and la now you can see that box shadow is there the font size is there one more thing that we can do is uh, like uh, providing the font to this particular file or we can say providing the font to the, our application for that like in this particular project we will be using like this font that is and uh, like for this you can again like search for this font Josephine Sans on Google fonts and you can always like uh, import that from here as well like if I just wanted to need like use this regular font I will simply copy these links I will paste them in my HTML file so in the in HTML file I can simply go and I can paste those links and uh, like we are having a project level CSS file where the font families has been defined so what I'll be doing is I'll be simply using these like these font families in that part so yes now here you can see that the font has been updated like this is the exact font that we wanted to use in this application now you can close these files and now we can work with the header part that we will be we was we were building so everything is fine uh, as of now now what we need is like uh, we need to divide these like the app name and the search box so what i'll be doing is i'll be having another property as app name and inside this app name i'll keep this react movie app react movie app and other than this like uh, as you can see uh, one icon or we can say the app icon is there so for that like if you need the similar app icon you can always go to the the repository and you can find the icons over there like this is the movie icon so you can always download this movie icon uh, in your system and you can reuse this i'll be like copying that from my system right now like the movie icon and the search icon and i can simply paste that here in the public section if i can if i can open this in the finder i'll be simply copying the movie icon here inside this public folder the movie icon is available here i can also copy the search icon that i'll need in the search box so yes now i am having the icons and uh, like for the icon what i can do is like i am having the app name uh, yeah for the icon i can create another style that is const movie image and movie image can be styled as the image tag so all the html tags are available in this style component library so we can simply use them i can provide some width or height to that particular movie image and i can simply use this inside this app name movie image and i just need to provide the source and for the source i just need to write movie icon dot svg yeah so the icon is visible here you can see the icon is visible here now we need to work on the search bar and for the search bar what i can do is i can simply create a search box so i'll be writing const search box equals to styled dot div because that is again a div and inside the search box i can provide few properties like uh, some sort of padding and some sort of like the flex directions because like as you can see that uh, this and this are in the column manner so we need to use the flex direction row and uh, like uh, we can provide the background color as white background color as white and let's include that in the header part search box and in the search box we will be having a search icon as well so for the search icon we are using this image tag and search icon is the image tag so i just need to provide this source and 
for the source part what we need to have is the search icon okay the search icon is here now we need to like uh, provide some sort of radius and properties to the search box so that it can look better so now you can see that it's uh, like somewhat better and if I just wanted to provide the property as justify content center I need to provide the align item center so that the search icon is in the center so yes now it's in the center and if we, we can have a look yeah so the thing is like we need to provide the justify content space between to the parent container that is the header so if we can have a look on the header part and uh, so yes we need to provide the justify content space between so that it can like move around like this and the other thing that we can do like everything looks fine as of now now one more thing we can do is we can provide the align item center to it as well now it look it looks fine the header is like almost fine and if we can have a look for the header it is perfectly fine now we need to work on the input part that we need to like inject inside the search box so inside the search box we will be creating a search input and that is again a styled component so i'll be writing the search input here which is a styled input tag And inside this input tag what we need is like if I can write here as the search input search input so now you can see that the input is visible here the input box is visible here we can provide some sort of a styling like uh, we can remove the border and the outline and we can provide the color and some font sizes here now you can see that this part like this color is for the font color font size font weight we have removed the border and the outline and the margin left is 15 pixels now if you can have a look and if i can reset it to the 100 percent then you will see that we are having the input text where we can write the movie name as well now the thing is like we are almost done with this part I can provide some sort of like the placeholder for this for search input so that like it is like more user friendly now we are done with this the part of like header designing I can remove this and dev as of now now the next part is like what we need to like implement so for that like uh, I'll be implementing this movie list container which will be showing the movie lists so for that what I can do is I can again create a constant constant styling as movie list container and that will be again a div div which will be having the basic properties like flex direction row and as we can see like uh, these are in the column so we'll be having the flex direction row and uh, the next part is like if you can see here like if i can close this you will see that this ui is responsive so that if the screen is not having the exact or required width then it will they like wrap the components in the next row so that is like a good thing like so that if you can have a look on this ui on the ipad you can have a look on the mobile device as well so it's user friendly so for that we need not to worry about the media queries as of now because we will be using the flex concept that is flex wrap flex wrap to wrap so that if the screen does not have the exact or required size then it will be like moving the components to the next row and as of now like i'm providing the padding and uh, the justify content is justify content property should be space evenly so that there is a there is an equivalent space in between the components and uh, yes let's see this is the movie list container This is the movie list container now we need to work upon the movie 
component which is like responsible for showing this information and like this card like ui for that like as of now what i'm doing is i'll be creating another directory as like new folder as component components and inside this component file folder i'll be creating a file named as movie component which will show the like exact the movie component to the user or to the ui part and i am exporting this movie component from this file and what i can do is i can simply use this movie component as of now and we can have multiple movie component and it is showing that movie component is not defined we just need to import that here import the movie component from from component slash the movie component file now like movie component is available and we have imported that now the thing is like uh, movie component has not returned anything so as of now what i can do is i can return some sort of data from this like even a single div will work and from here i can write maybe my name and you will see that the movie components are visible here now we can like work on styling this movie container so that like uh, it's good so for that like again what we will be doing is we will be creating a style component as the movie container for that i am writing movie container styled dot div two backticks again and inside this movie container we can provide again the basic properties like the display flex and as we wanted to show the data in the row manner so i'll be using this flex direction as column and uh, like we can provide some sort of padding and uh, padding can be the 10 pixels inside this box and i can provide the definite width so that so that the width is like definite so for the width part what i can do is i can use maybe the 280 pixels that will work and uh, i can provide some sort of box shadow so that it can have a look as the card like ui so now you can see that uh, this is it and for the gappings in between them yeah it is space evenly and uh, i can do one thing like uh, because i just wanted to click on these parts so i can make the cursor as pointer so that like if i go on this you can see the cursor pointer is available here now what we can do is we can uh, like define the cover image cover image for the movie for that i will be defining the cover image this is the styled and the image tag is here and for this like as of now i will be defining the height as 362 pixels and for this height what i have done is like i just check this particular poster url like if i just wanted to open this then we will see that the height of this particular like you can check by inspecting that so i have marked the width and the height in the exact ratio like here you can see that the width is 300 and the height is 445 so now like as we are having the width as like 280 pixels so i am defined the height as 362 pixels and uh, i can use this cover image and inside this cover image i just need to provide the source so as of now what i can do is i can use this url so yes now you can see that uh, it is looking fine so one thing to remember like if whenever you are working with the image part and you have like fixed some sort of height or width then you need to provide this object fit as cover so that your like image is not pixelate or stretched and it will work fine now the next thing is like uh, in this manner we need to provide the movie name for that what i can do is i can again create a styling as movie name that will be styled as span I, I just need to write some text and inside this movie name like i can wrap this like this particular my name in the movie name component 
and uh, like if i can provide the styling to this like i can provide the font size some sort of margin and all so font size is 18 font weight is increased and the color is black and i have provided the vertical margin to 15 pixels so that it is like uh, somehow away from the poster and uh, one more thing we can do is like in case the name is very big like mine like if i just wanted to write a lot of data here like this then you will see that it, it can like uh, disturb the height of the exact component so what we can do is like uh, we can provide the property as white space no wrap to this so that like uh, it is not wrapped into the next line and uh, for this text overflow we can provide the property as text overflow as ellipsis so that like it will show the three dots in the end okay so like we have provided a text overflow and one more thing we need to write if the overflow is there then we need to hide that then you will see that the ellipses are here the text is not overflowing the component now i can revert it to simple thing or maybe we can like choose the data from this api that is so that our like ui looks pretty fine now the next thing is we need to provide the year and the type so for that what we can do is we can create an info column because inside this particular div you can see this is in the column manner so we need to keep those like spans in the and another div so for that i'll be writing the styling for info column and that will be styled as div and the styling is pretty clear like the display flex and the flex direction will be row and other than this like uh, the content is justified as space between so for that i'll be providing the property as the justify content space between now what i can do is i can have this column and in this column what i can do is if i can just write like just to check 2012 and maybe this is movie so now you can have a look that uh, the ui looks fine we can provide some sort of uh, like styling to this as well like again if it is overflowing or that part although it will not overflow or in the ellipse size so it is pretty easy styling for these span so like in the beginning what i can do is i can write it like this now you can see that our ui looks pretty well like as we can see here and uh, now the thing is this is our local host now we are done with this part and uh, like uh, before developing the movie detail like component what we can do is we can work with the api so that we can have the exact url for this or we can say the exact data for this so for like uh, implementing the api we can always go to the app.js file where we will be having the states for this as well like for the movie list at least and before that we need to work with the search input part so what i can do is i can define the states as in the in the app component so i have defined a state for maybe search query and uh, the method for updating is update search query so in this application we are using the react hooks for managing the states or managing the effects so if you like if you are a beginner or don't don't know about this like uh, react hook part you can always go to the tutorial that are that is available on the channel the indian dev and you can look for everything like the style components the react hooks the basic of reacts so yes like if you are like uh, not clear at some point then you can always refer to those tutorials now like uh, we have defined this so what we can do is on change in this particular search box what I can do is I can create a method that is on text change and inside this on text change like what I can do is I can define this constant on text change and like this and as we all know we all receive the event from this on change method 
and uh, inside this like particular on text change what we will be doing is we will be updating the search query so i can write update search query and the value will be event dot target dot value okay and uh, this search query can be used as the value for this part just to make it two way binded now you can have a look it is fine the like another concept that we will be learning in this particular video is the concept of debouncing so what is debouncing so you have seen in a lot of like social media or maybe a lot of e-commerce website that if you are searching then there is no search button like one thing we can do is in, in the time of implementation i can write the text of like name of the movie here and i can provide the search button so that if i click on this then only we will call the api for that but here you can see that in the ui in the ui there is no search button and uh, like uh, if you can go to the inspect option and if you can check the network calls so if i'm writing anything like anything here like maybe iron man then you will see that uh, like for every change in the input box there is no api call once i'm done with this with this like with writing the text here then only i am getting this api call here and here you can see in the api call as well in the api call the search query is iron man only so that is called as the concept of debouncing that we will not be calling the api as per the text change we will like wait for the user to stop writing so once i stopped writing this iron man then only our api got triggered so this is the concept of debouncing that we will be implementing in this part or we can say in this tutorial for that like for that debouncing purpose what i can do is i can have another state for the timeout id so what i'll be doing is like in case the text is getting changed so i will i will maintain the like timeout so like uh, if i can write here set timeout and in this set timeout i'll be making the api call and maybe i can write it here api call and the time difference or we can say the time or time i can keep it as like half milliseconds and as you all know that this time set timeout provides the timeout id so what i can do is we are having this timeout id here i'll be keeping this in the state so that like if uh, i write anything here like if uh, or maybe what one thing i can do is i can console it here so that you can easily analyze the concept of this debouncing so now if i can go here and uh, you will see that if i am writing something here api call is here api call is here but if i am writing like everything then you will see that a lot of api calls will be there so just to cancel the previous api call what i'll be doing is i'll simply clear this the previous timeout so that if i can like again show you guys that if i'm writing here as times then you will see a single api call that is called once i stopped writing this like if i can write iron man then you will see a single api call so that is the basic advantage of debouncing functionality and uh, like now we can work with the api call part and for that for api call what i can do is i can define a method as fetch data fetch data part and in this part we will be using the axios library axios dot get and as that was a get api so get api for search is here like uh, that you can also find on this repository as i have mentioned earlier so what we can do is we can use the search url here and uh, i can keep it in the yes so here we are and in the fetch data what we can do is we can find the search string and instead of movie name what i can do is i can keep it inside the dollar yeah so the search string will be dynamic and for the api key like you can always have your api key here 
and I'll be using my API, my API key here. I just need to define it at the top of this file. Const the API key, and the API key that I'm using for like this is like I'm having that. You need to like use your API key. That will be a better thing because like as we are doing the development, so we need to work ethically so that uh, like like because there is a quota on this uh, free limit so i'll recommend that you will you should use your own api key now the next thing is like as we were in the api integration part so this is the constant and here i'll be receiving the response from this and as this is a like asynchronous call so i'll be using async and await for this so that i can receive the response in this response keyword now everything looks fine and what we can do is we can check for the data that we are receiving from this particular part and uh, one thing like in the api call segment what we can do is we can simply call this particular method fetch data and we can provide the value for this like the search string now let's have a look like if i can inspect sorry if i can inspect here and if i can remove this iron man and if i can simply write anything like avengers that we will be we were searching in the initial phase let's start with dill so here you will see that the search call for this dill is available here and you can see the search results and in the console part we are having the data in the in the data key and the search result is also available here so we can make use of that for that like uh, as we can see that we are we will be receiving the movie list so for that what i can do is i can again like initiate another state for movie list and i'll be updating the movie list from the response itself and inside the response as we have seen that we need to use we need to use this search from the data so i'll be writing response dot data dot search so that we can have the movie list in our container and for that like uh, let's have a look on the application and if you guys are working with react.js then you must have installed these plugins as your like debugging helper so if i can write here as iron then you can see that the name is iron the previous timeout id is here and once the like uh, the api is triggered then we have received the data and that is updated in the state now here you can see that all the data is available here so that now we can work with the actual with the actual data that is available in the movie list so what i can do is like instead of hard coding these i'll be writing the simple code just to like uh, iterate this movie component so what I, what I will do is I will make a dynamic and inside this I will check if the movie list is having some sort of length then I will move like map around this movie list movie list dot map and inside this map method what I will be doing is I will be returning this movie component and uh, if uh, the movie component is not here so I can uh, like as of now write some placeholders yeah so right now it is showing the no movie search but if i can search here as iron then you will see that the api has, has like received some data from the from the api like 10 movies are listed here and uh, those has like iterated over the same component that is movie component that is as of now statics so it is showing the guardians of galaxy but it will show the real data as well for that what i can do is i can provide this like inside this i'll be receiving the movie and index as well so that like whenever we are working with the list or with iterating the elements we always need to provide the key to this particular part so i'm providing the index as the key and uh, this movie i can always pass to this component so that yeah so that i can use the act uh, the actual data in the movie component and uh, like now we can go to the movie component 
and here we will be receiving all the information in the props part so what i can do is i can simply destructure the data here from props dot movie and in the movie we can see that like these elements title year imdb rating and all the stuff is available here imdb id so i can simply destructure that here and simply i can make use of this just to make our component dynamic and this is the year this is the type and for the poster part what we can do is we can make it dynamic as well now you can see that our component looks dynamic like the movie name iron main and the year and the type of the movie so everything is visible here one more thing that we can do is like we can provide some sort of gaps in between the containers or we can see the movie containers for that i just need to go to this and i can write some sort of gap as maybe 24 pixels yeah now it looks better so guys here you can see that we have implemented the header we have implemented the search functionality and the debouncing concept and our movie components are fully dynamic now the only thing that is remaining in this particular application is all about like the listing that you can see here that the content is loading so the movie listing or the movie info container or component that is the only thing that we can create as of now so for that like uh, i believe these part are done what i can do is i can again go to the folder structure and i can create another file that can be named as the movie info component movie info component that is again a pretty easy ui like here you can see that this is the poster and the, here is the listing from the api that uh, will be receiving this much of data so we can use make use of like all the data but i am just focusing on the main part of the movie so like uh, for that i can copy this as of now movie info component moving for component is here i can remove this i can remove this as well and as of now i can keep it as div so this is the movie info component i can also import this in in our app.js file Now the thing is like uh, when we need to show this movie info component if i can search for iron then iron man is here once i click on this part then i just need to show this movie info component so for that like what we need to do is like i can have another state uh, that can be the selected movie like whatever the movie is being selected we can have that part as well for that i can like uh, change this to this and uh, the initially it will be the undefined so this is the selected movie part and yeah so this selected movie i just need to pass this to uh, i just need to pass this to the movie component so that um, like here i can write in the movie component on movie select in the on movie select i just need to provide the on movie select method and uh, that we can receive inside this movie component and once i click on this on click what i just wanted to do is i'll be calling the props dot on movie select and i'll be passing this imdb id to the parent component so that i can keep the record of that particular movie and in on, on movie select this movie id will be visible here and once it is like available then what i can do is i can make something dynamic here like if selected movie is here then only i will be showing the movie info component and inside this movie info component what i can do is i can provide the selected movie I can provide the selected movie and uh, yeah 
so inside the movie info component now we can like have a look uh, if i'm clicking on iron man so iron man is visible here now if i can click on here then you will see that movie info component is visible now we need to design this movie info component for that like again the like i just need to create a container and this container like you can see this container is having some sort of padding and uh, a border bottom here and if you can see like uh, there is a like column based structure so i can always i just need to import the style from the style component and now if you can have a look i can keep it as container so here you can see that uh, this particular container is having a border bottom and the justified content is in the center now one thing like uh, as you can see like we are having the cover image so for the cover image i can reuse this particular property from here maybe i can reduce the height of this cover image uh, let's say it's 350 as of now and for this cover image i can like again write as as its image i can make it as closing tag and in the source folder in the, in the source i can provide this url now you can have a look that uh, the cover image is available here in the movie info com container and now like everything is uh, like uh, the info so for that info what i can do is i can like again create an info column for that and inside this info column we can have all the information for that yeah so this is the info column which will be having the data as this part and inside the info column what we can do is like initially we are having this different span that is for movie name and for that like movie name what we can do is we can define a styling as const movie name that will be the span and inside this span what we can do is we can simply provide some sort of properties that we have provided here in the movie name so i can reuse them here as well and in the movie name yeah so in the movie name what i can do is i can write as like uh, maybe the type that is movie and the movie name is maybe initially i am writing here as iron man and here you can see that iron man is here now the other parts are like uh, the imdb rating the year the language and every every data is available here like in the in this api itself like you can see the writers the re like release year the release everything and the imdb rating imdb votes so whatever you wanted to use you can use that so like for that i'll be creating the another span for that like uh, const movie info equals to styled dot span and in this like i'll be providing some sort of a styling again and uh, i can write the data here like inside the movie info what we can have is like initially i am having maybe the imdb rating IMDb rating as maybe 9.0 so here you can see that uh, yeah this is movie name i just need to use movie info so that it is like a somewhat different different from the movie and uh, here you can see like uh, what i can do is i can provide like here you can see that color difference is there so what i can do is i can wrap it in the span and this span will be having uh, less opacity so for that like uh, inside the movie info if i just wanted to design this span what i just need to write is like uh, this and and the span and here i can provide the all the properties to this part so i'll be writing as 0.5 now you can see like it looks fine similarly what we can do is we can provide all the movie info uh, but before that what we need to have is like inside this props from the app part we are having the selected movie id so for that what i just need to do is 
we need to make uh, an api call for fetching the result for this particular selected movie so that we can have the data from this api so for that what i'll be doing is i'll be using the use effect react hook use effect react hook and this react hook will be like calling the api and like if i can write here like the axios axios.cat and the api that we need to call the api that we need to call is this one where we need to provide the id for the selected movie and the selected movie we are receiving from i guess from the props so we can destructure that is like this and uh, once it's received what we can do is we can like save it into the state i'm just using then here and for saving that into the state what we can do is we can have or we can initiate the state for that like movie info and i can again import the use state here and for the api key if we are having the api key here i can export it from here and uh, api key can be imported here i guess so yes the api key is here now what we need to do is like in the use effect we have like called the api but like we cannot call this api again and again what i just wanted to make sure i can i will be only calling this api depending on the dependency injection once the selected movie is updated then only i will call this exios.get api to fetch the movie results and i'll be definitely receiving the response in this and i'll be updating the response in the set movie info and set movie info will take the response dot data and we need not to go inside the data because we are receiving the direct object from the api so i guess that's it uh, for this api part and we can have a look like if it's working or not for that what i can do is inside the movie info we will be having the poster so let's see if uh, that is dynamic or not or we are getting the call from that api for that i'll be using movie info if that's available i'll be using the poster Now if we can go there and if we can toggle the inspect option if i'm writing iron here then you will see that uh, in the network part a single api call is there and if i click on this iron man then you will see like another api call is there which is calling for this like id particular id for this movie and that is receiving all the response from here so like we are done with this part as well with the second api call and now we just need to make it dynamic like uh, for the movie part what i can do is i can again reuse this and i can keep the type here so the type is movie and the movie name that is the title so like this like uh, we can have all the information here iron man is here for the imdb rating what i can do is i can have the dynamic imdb rating so it is 7.1 so similarly what we can do is we can like copy this and this and again and again and we can make it dynamic for that like uh, i have already like listed out all the things all the necessary thing that we will be showing up on the ui so i'll be just pasting that here and let's see if that's working or not so yes now you can see that it's working fine if i can click on this iron fists then you will see that iron fists data is here now the next thing that we can do is uh, like we can uh, have a close button here so that uh, we can close the information so for that close button what we can do is for that close button i can have a simple span which will be having some sort of properties like this is the close span which will be having like i'll make a font or the text x so i can keep it here like uh, below this info column and inside this i can write x
so this is our application here you can see that x is here and right now it's not working as of now we haven't implemented anything so what i just wanted to make sure like if i click on that x then i can i just wanted to clear this selected movie so that this particular component can be like disappeared from the screen so i'll be passing this on movie select to this component as well and this on movie select i can use inside this so that if i click on this on click so that here i can write uh, props dot on movie select and inside this movie select i'll be writing in undefined so that this is like visible over there now we can have a look if i can refresh this iron is here so iron man is here i can click for iron, iron lady and this is the iron lady the information looks good now if i can click on this x the selected movie id will be undefined and this component should not be visible here so yes you can see here okay so like we can also work on this part so for that like uh, what we can do is until we are not having the movie info data what we can do is um, right now here i can write if we are having the movie info then only we will be showing the data else we will be showing the loading text and inside this react fragment what i can do is i can keep all the information like i can remove this and i can keep it inside the react fragment now if we can check here we are having the iron and inside this iron if i am checking this iron lady and if i click on iron man then it will load like this i can do this with some other text as well so kabhi alvida na kehna for this if i click on this you can you can see the loading option is there and i can close this so right now it all looks good the only thing that is remaining like we can provide some sort of placeholder through this application like uh, as of now i have marked it as no movie search available or movie searched what i can do is i can create a placeholder image um, placeholder image and its opacity is 50% so that like it uh, looks a little like placeholder now instead of this no movie search i can use this part and if you can have a look on the application it should look good yeah so now here you can see that we have created this amazing react movie application and the, this is the placeholder available here i can go with avengers and the listing for avengers is available here i can look for any like details of this movie loading is here that's pretty good and all the information is available here i can close this as well i can go with another movie information i can close this i can opt for any movie so that's all that we have learned from this video or this particular react application now the next thing you can do is you can deploy your application to the github pages to just make it like live as i have done i have deployed this application on the github pages the steps are pretty much easy you can find the video for deploying the react application on github pages on my channel as well that will take around like 2 to 5 minutes to deploy uh, if you can go with the steps so that was all about this amazing react movie application let me know in the comments like uh, what uh, else you or just wanted to learn or just wanted to build in the next upcoming videos so yes thank you for watching this video guys if you have learned anything from this video then please make sure to like this video and if you haven't subscribed to the indian dev then please make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this video guys thank you very much